I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian Manuel. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Expel the armors! Confringo! Accio! This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Can bring us. 
Gringo! be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. It's all finished. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? 